Hey guys, so today we're gonna be reading a creepy story. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. My husband went missing six months ago, just went out to work one day and never came home. It was a horrible shock to the whole neighborhood because things like that just didn't happen in our little slice of white picket fence suburbia. The police launched an investigation and the neighborhood watch sent out search parties, but no one ever found any evidence to indicate what had happened to him. Our families were devastated. Recently, the missing posters have been taken down or papered over. The updates from the police became less frequent and dwindled away. I accepted that. Hard as it was to admit, my Rick wasn't coming back. Until he did. A week ago, I was in the back garden watering my petunias when I heard the garden gate creak open. I jerked my head in that direction and there he was. Exactly the same as he was the day he disappeared. Same windswept blonde hair and bright blue eyes. Same curls to his pink lips. I was in shock. Our families had mourned for him and yet there he was, standing in our garden like he had just popped out from milk or something. When I asked where he had been, he said he didn't know. He couldn't remember anything about the last six months. All our family and friends are beside themselves with joy. They almost can't believe it. <laughs> Yo, why? Why did I have to drop? This is why I hate reading horror stories sometimes. But that's just the thing. I don't believe it. Look, I understand how crazy this all sounds, I do. Our families would never believe me and I can't go to the police unless I want to end up in a straight jacket. But I just know that man sleeping next to me isn't my husband. I don't know what to do. I know I should be happy, but I'm not. I'm terrified. I don't know much about anything supernatural or paranormal. I don't even like watching horror movies. But something about this whole situation makes my skin crawl. Just let me explain why I'm so sure. Once I've done that, hopefully one of you will believe me and you'll be able to tell me what to do. What? The morning after Rick came home, I made him a cup of tea. When I handed it to him, he gave me the brighter smile. Then he took a sugar cube from the dish on the table and dropped it into the cup. Our house was in chaos with his return, and I was still in shock so I didn't think much of it at the time, but it's been replaying in my mind ever since. I know it doesn't sound very significant, but my husband never put sugar in his tea. He was always adamant that it ruined the taste, and he'd get so frustrated if I ever put sugar in his cup by accident, and yet this man had sugar. Maybe he like lost his memory, you know, and he just came back and he just has different food preferences now. <laughs> Then it was the golf. A few days ago when he was out visiting his mum, I recorded a golf tournament that was showing on the TV. It was one of Rick's favourite golfers that was competing and he never missed it. Once he even skipped out on an anniversary dinner just to watch a championship. Only when he came home from his parents and I told him what I'd done, he just seemed unbothered, like he said thanks and everything. And then he asked if I wanted to get dinner. He didn't even watch it. And that's just so out of character for him. Then one night I woke up around 2am to see Rick's face inches from mine just looking at me with his blank eyes. I kind of gave this nervous laugh and asked, baby, what are you doing? And he didn't answer for like a solid 30 seconds. He just stared, almost like he was looking right through me. And then he suddenly smiled and said, sorry, honey, sometimes I just can't believe this is real. Then he just rolled over and went to sleep. I didn't get much sleep after that myself. Well, I wouldn't be able to sleep after that too. What the heck? He's just looking at you while you're sleeping. <sighs> and then he's like, I can't believe this is real. As if he just killed the real Rick and now he's living his life kind of thing. <sighs> Scary! Yesterday, about a week after he came home, the neighborhood threw a street party to celebrate his return. Everyone from our street and the streets on either side turned up to see him and tell him how happy they are that he's alright. When he wasn't standing with his arm around my waist, he was milling around chatting amicably to each and every one of our neighbors, even the kids. Jackson. Our next door neighbor, Sally's toddler, wanted to play peekaboo and Rick happily played along with a smile on his face. Now, my husband never did that. Rick always said he didn't like kids. That's why we never had any. So he never wanted to play with any of the neighborhood children, especially not Jackson. Rick all but avoided him. The final nail in the coffin, proverbially speaking, was Sally. Just this morning, she came knocking on our door. Her excuse was the tray of brownies she carried, but I think she just wanted to push her way into our morning so that she could see for herself what the situation was. After she left, I called her a nosy busybody. Rick laughed, kissed my head and agreed with me. That was when I knew for sure that it couldn't really be him. 
Rick always used to get mad whenever I insulted Sally. Like I didn't have any right to hate her even though she'd been screwing my husband for years. But today there was none of that. He didn't even try to defend her. I know what you must be thinking if he was in an accident or something. He might have had some kind of traumatic brain injury that caused him to forget some things about his life. Maybe even change his personality. And that's valid, reasonable explanation. I have no doubt it's what the police would tell me if I reported all this. But you know why I'm dead certain that man isn't my husband? He doesn't have a scar. If he was really Rick, he'd have a scar on the side of his forehead, shaped like the golf club I hit him with. But there's nothing, not a mark. Honestly, I'm this close to going out tonight and digging up my petunias just to make sure he's still under there. I don't know what I'm sharing a bed with, but I know it's not my husband. So what the hell am I going to do? <gasps> what? Was that the twist? Wait, did she like actually kill her? Oh my gosh. Wow, was that the twist? So she killed her real husband and then a fake one came back and she's so confused and she's like, what in the world? Whoa! So she buried her real husband with the petunias? Holy shoot. That was a good read though. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we know this is fiction now. <laughs> For a second, I was gonna think that it was real. Yeah, I'm gullible. Yes, I am. I am. Dang, that was a good story though. Holy shoot, that had me. That got me. It did. So she killed the real Rick because he was such a terrible person. <laughs> you know, he just sounds terrible. He cheated. He just doesn't like anything at all. And yeah, a fake one came back and he's treating her like the princess that she deserves to be treated like. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> That's a good story. Holy shoot. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I had to look at that sentence twice when she was like, I need to dig him up again to see if his body is still there because who the heck is this guy? <laughs> Yo. Yo, that's messed up, dude. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. Am I siding with her when she literally killed someone? <laughs> Everybody sucks. I guess this is why I feel like women will get away with murder. Hey. <laughs> Jeez. The police wouldn't be looking for her. <laughs> because, you know, if someone dies, they always suspect the partner or like a family member. So they probably suspected that she killed him. But now they don't have to anymore because the fake Rick is back and no one knows that except her. Jeez. Dude, what a good story, man. The person who wrote this, you're good. That was a good twist. Hey, though, to be honest, if this was real, I'd just live with the fake Rick because he sounds like a good person, you know? Sounds like the entire opposite of the real Rick, which was a terrible person. So girl, just live with the fake Rick and start your life together now. <laughs> man, I'm still mind blown. <sighs> Crazy, man. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.